I'm actually in absolute shock. We relaunched Hellfare last night at 7 p.m. UK time, and within three hours, every single product on the entire website, the whole website, new stuff, old stuff, was sold out, gone. We had nothing left. These sick jackets, one of them's just gone in here now, were sold out within 15 minutes, which is ludicrous. Like, I just couldn't fathom. I couldn't fathom the support and just how stoked everyone was on the new website, the new products, and how much everyone's got involved with it. It's absolutely unreal. And who's this going out to? Oliver Sargent. Oliver Sargent's got his sick gray trail jacket on the way. We're still packing now orders that were in the first 90 seconds of going live. They're all going out to the UK. We've got some international ones here. Martin Gustafsson, who else? That's a sick name, Tom Thomas Geronimo <laughs> from the USA. But it's, it's gonna be a hell, a hell of a packing operation. This unit, this garage has turned into an absolute hellfare packing room. There's so much stuff, excuse the mess, but it's all getting packed in the next few hours. It might take five hours, it might take 10, but it's all getting packed this weekend, ready to go to the post office Monday morning. Cause I'm buzzing to see people out on the trails wearing this stuff. It's taken a long time for Ben and I to design, create the kind of image of the brand that we want. And for everyone to come on board, at seven o'clock and within minutes, stuff in different sizes is gone. Like literally gone, none left has been wild. It's absolutely insane. And one thing I wanna get across, cause I've already said this on Instagram, but YouTube I know can be a different audience. Where in the past at Health Fair, we've done limited edition runs that come out and then they're gone forever. We never remake them, we never restock them. With these mountain bike products, the Cadence jerseys and the trail jackets, they're gonna be restocked. So our number one priority, once all this stuff has gone out to you guys, is to restock all of these products, get the levels back up so we can launch, well not launch again, but just put it back out there again and facilitate the demand for those who missed out. Because a lot of you did, we've been inundated with messages for people saying they were too late, their internet didn't work, the time zone didn't work for them. They're all considerations for next time round to make sure that people don't miss out. And maybe it will sell out again, but that's fine because we're gonna keep restocking until every single person is stoked out on the trails wearing these sick jerseys, these jackets, and we're working on new products as well. So, I mean, here's, here are the trail jackets. They look sick. That's the tag, they come in a rad bag like that. The jerseys, welcome to Hellfair. The blue one is one of my personal favorites. They went extremely, extremely fast. They're the Cadence jerseys, and they're all getting packed up now. So, we've got a bit of a production line going here, but I've been busy for the last hour signing these cards that go into every single order that you saw me slip into Oliver's. They're the ones I've done so far, already done a thousand. <laughs> Imagine how my right hand feels right now. That's quite cool. And where it seems like some of you have ordered clothes for more than one person, we've put more than one in. So, and I've got more of these to do. But it's sick adding a little personal touch. But in the meantime, we've got a lot of hours today. It's very early in the morning this morning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Woburn because whilst out in France, I've seen that the dirt jumps are back running and I'm buzzing to get a little ride in and then come back get the riding out of my system and just smash out all of your orders. So thank you so much to everyone. For those of you who missed out, the time will come. It's only gonna be a couple of weeks, I hope, within the next month for sure, and then we're back online. But thanks for all the support. I've said it before, you are all absolute legends. This has been very overwhelming. Didn't sleep much last night, but that's fine, because, I mean, look how many cards there are. <laughs> That's, that shows what's going on here. So thanks guys, let's head to Woburn. We're back then and we're winding back the clock like four months since I last rode here, which is ludicrous. Oh my, oh my God. Ow, <laughs> ludicrous amount of time. That point looked so deliberate. That's, that was hidden in there, look. You'd have think that's just full of air, wouldn't you? You'd have think. Um, there's a couple of tarps on the jumps, but it looks good. It looks like it's definitely been ridden by a lot of people. All the bomb holes have been scraped out, so there's no silt in there. That's like, it's actually really hard for Woburn. That's backyard hard, which is nice. I'm gonna whip these tarps off. It's always best to take tarps off upwards so they're easier to put back on. Carpeted, ready to go. I love this hip. Someone's redone it. Shout out to whoever has voluntarily applied spade work to this epic set of trails. I think we can ride up to have a look. There's a new men at work sign. <laughs> Looks like they're all running. All the way back, left hip. That doesn't look like it's been ridden actually, but we'll have a go. So we're up to the new stuff that still hasn't been tested. So we'll get straight up the top and I'll have to quite quickly remind myself what it's like to ride trails that are 
a real size and not a nibbly backyard <laughs> scale. Let's go. You know what, it feels weird sat back up here. This is where I've probably spent the most time in my whole life, sat waiting to drop in, but it's the place I've absolutely ridden the least in the last few months. So it feels amazing to be back. Let's hope the jumps work just as good as I remember. Come in, mate. Step down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a near crash. What happened? Ow. I can't believe I left my pads in France. I like pulled back on the right hip because I remember always doing backwards whips on it. I just forgotten how to whip. <laughs> I like went, I couldn't bring it back basically and I started drifting backwards and thought I was going to lose my back end. Kind of a confusing explanation because I don't actually know what happened but <laughs> smashed my knee on the stem like good and an absolute belter. That lip is lovely. That is like concrete. But it's been, it's been sat there for so many years now. It's like granite. <laughs> again the first three feel pucker a bit worried about coming back because it looks like this stuff's been less ridden but we can make it work today it's just it's just a delight these trails and it's sunny and it's nice ready mush the goal is usually to get through a set of trails first run which i failed at miserably i didn't even do 50 percent so here's to improving Yes. Up the pad, drop back in. Sun in my eyes. <laughs> oh. oh my God. They actually feel terrific. There's signs of them not being ridden for ages. Like where you get carpet, the rain can't touch the dirt under the carpet, washes off the end and creates a bump like a lip on the edge. I really feel that there, but all this stuff, it's just tackled the elements for so many months and it works great. The sun in your eyes coming back is a problem. Do you know anyone with a helicopter? <laughs> I don't. They could just sit, hover there, couldn't they? <laughs> like, even with my hand, it helps so much. I might, could I ride like that? Probably mate, yeah, give it a go. Going up there, I still can't believe there's a bathtub in a dirt jump feature. <laughs> it's a shame that this is, oh, that's actually really rough. Can you see the lip on that carpet? Yeah. Looks like the Megalodon. <laughs> to take off to a takeoff. When all this speeds up, and it's quite hypocritical of me to say when, like I need to come down here and help make it work. That's gonna be absolutely rowdy. The big quarter pipe like transfer thing we air up over the bathtub, chink your pedal on it. These trails are more tiring than ours. <laughs> right then, that's the Woburn, the classic original Woburn line. Well, as of six years, plus all of this stuff last year. But this, I've done a walkthrough video of this. It's like the new small line that the guys have built, but I've never ridden it. And I'm pretty excited about this because for people that want to get into dirt jumping, what you need is straight jumps, ideally not hips, and jumps that don't get massive quick and these these are just that there's a double roller at the top two doubles a berm i'm going to predict now ben that if you ride this with no brakes you're going to be in a spot of bother you'll be in trouble <laughs> Over may the back. have bitten off more than you can chew <laughs> if you hit this line because i think you'll go Wah! <laughs> do you want to film the three-story skyscraper oblivion drop wowzers spot of bother but for me, with a hydraulic disc brake, because I'm not mad, I think I'll be all right. So two jumps, berm, another berm. Then you go through the gap of this absolute almighty monster. And then you jump another jump. But I think, looking at this sick new mossy piece, that when it's all running, you could transfer off of the green takeoff left all the way to the small line. Oh, good cool. spot. Big call. So let's do it. Small line, pretty keen on this. I'm going to GoPro it as well, Mush. I've just seen something, Matt. Oh wow, there's gravy in the gap. Quite a bit of gravy. Oh, not even gravy, it's like when you do toad in the hole in the oven, it's the stuff that's left <laughs> in the pan. Coming! 
I actually have no idea how fast to go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. Perfect. Oh, they're running quick. Boom, pump, boom, gravy. I don't think I can clear that. I don't think I can clear that one because of the toad in the hole juice. Well, it might just be me. I'll give it more minerals, but that's very slow through the bog. <laughs> Good though, this feels like a kind of pump tracky roller coaster. Good for anyone. Good for everyone. Just bring a brake, please. <laughs> I'll do it with no brakes, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Have you got your bike with you? No. Next video, Ben attempts world's first berm gap to flat. <laughs> <laughs> to ankle smash out. Not even attempt, accident. Like, what would it, what's the word if you try something by accident? A miracle? No. <laughs> <laughs> If you try something by accident. Ben mistakenly yes. lands, lands, <laughs> not crashes, lands world's first dirt so skyscraper step down. Without his ankles. Yeah. <laughs> ben mistakenly hands ankles in to lost and found. <laughs> oh. 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 I've got it all over me to lose a leg. Oh, you fully bogged it. It's actually it. rank. There's no moisture in this whole woods, but somehow that <laughs> just collected there and stayed there. I feel like a tadpole. <laughs> it's like well one. soft. You see how soft it is? Yeah. It's not, it's not a coincidence that I can't clear it, is it? Very mushy. And I haven't tried, to be honest. Very so. mushy mush. It's very mushy. Um, I'm going to try the transfer. Well, I think it'll be fine. The small lip to the big landing. Land sort of halfway up. And then break and do a, what's called a pocket air out of the big takeoff, over 90 hip, land in the berm. Might even give me more speed, but probably won't. And then... Bob's your uncle? Bob's your uncle, Charlie's your aunt. What? Have you not heard that one? No. Might be not real. <laughs> Couple transfers. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> well... You remember? I'm gonna go for this. Huh? I'm gonna go for this. Really? Yeah. Because that'll slow you down. I don't know if anyone's jumped it. I'm sure people have tried. That'll slow me down loads, but I'm pretty interested to know if there is enough speed through there to keep this line going, because there's a whole nother jump after that, and you know that it's just gonna get built further down the hill, and it will be my favorite line, so. This is so weird coming to Woburn and like analysing it. Usually I know it better than the back of my hand and now I'm like trying to suss it all out again. This is a lovely line to ride, it's just chill. Ow! Oh! Oh my Ow. god! Wow! That's as far as I'm going to be getting today. That was a massive case. Look at the splash zone. That's the way to empty it. Just ride it. It smells good as well. What are you Mate, doing? Honestly, come and smell this water. <laughs> Why? It is so toxic. <laughs> oh, that reeks. Oh, it's all in my clothes. That's too big for aquaplaning. Good line though. It's really good. Would it clear without the water? Um, yeah, I think so. You've got to be good at berms. It's sick here, like Woburn's very, very special to me. A lot of you know that, some of you might not. This is where it all started. So every time I come back and ride, even with a four month gap, feels really special and makes everything go full circle. I remember where I started and it kind of gives me a bit of insight into where I am now. But it was sick and exciting to come and ride the jumps. I didn't do all the tricks. I mean, we do need some rain and we need some, some spade work and man hours to sort this out, but We've got to get back and pack all your orders and get them off to you. So thanks for all the support with Hellfare. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you very soon. You're all legends. Peace. Hmm.